is Nemo, also known as Clownfish. In the real world, this little fish faces an incredible journey that is not less amazing than the one that we've all seen in the movie. Soon after hatching, baby Nemo says goodbye to mom and dad and swims towards the open ocean. Nemo, at this stage, is smaller than a rice grain, but does not lack courage and strength. In the following few weeks, pushed by the currents, Nemo will travel long distances in the open ocean, just like in the movie. But swimming in the open ocean is very dangerous for a vulnerable baby fish like Nemo, and the risk of becoming some other fish dinner is always behind the corner. Therefore, at some point, survival instincts tell the little fish that it's time to grow up and make the move to safer grounds. It's time to go to the reef and settle in a beautiful anemone to call home. But how can Nemo find the reef? He's far offshore, surrounded by blue water and without a map. Hold on a second, listen to this. That was the sound of the reef where Nemo wants to go. Nemo is smart and knows that if he keeps swimming towards the sound, he will eventually reach the reef. And as Nemo gets closer and closer, he also notices the typical smell of the reef. Another important cue that Nemo is on the right path. So finally, after a long swim, Nemo finds a beautiful anemone, settles in and lives happily. But there is a problem. A problem that could put Nemo in danger. Far, far away from the reef, humans are burning fossil fuels like there is no tomorrow. All the carbon that humans release in the air not only makes the planet warmer, but also dissolves in the ocean, making it more acidic in a process called ocean acidification. Scientists discovered that levels of ocean acidification, like those expected for the end of the century, will cause big problems to our dear Nemo. Ocean acidification messes up with the functioning of the brain of fish. The result is that they make very poor choices. For example, Nemo will not be able to find a home by using the sound and the smell of the reef, as he used to. Instead, he will get lost. Also, Nemo will become foolishly fearless of predators risking to become an easy meal. And ocean acidification does not affect only clownfish, like Nemo, but a whole variety of fish species. But what does this mean for us? Well, if fish will not be able to find a safe home and avoid their predators anymore, it will likely mean that there will be less fish around for us to catch and eat. And it doesn't matter if you are a fisherman, if you like to eat fish or just to look at them when scuba diving, this is bad news. But fortunately, it's not too late. And we can stop ocean acidification before it becomes too dangerous. All we need to do is to reduce carbon emissions. And you can help. I will ask you to do three very simple things. First, you need to know that animal agriculture is a big contributor to climate change. So reducing your meat consumption is the first and easiest thing you can do. Second, drive electric vehicles and use solar energy to power them. Third, vote wisely for political parties that support serious climate action. The future of Nemo is in your hands.